I do have a question for you guys. How do you deal with door-to-door salesmen? Oh, this pisses I mean, me off. Seriously. You don't come around in our neighborhood much. Really? No. I, mean, I got a guy about a month ago trying to get me on solar, but that's about it. They all come and they have their little badge, and they don't take no for an answer. Lately, the guys I've been getting are like, but but I'm like, bro. He's like, I'm doing all the um, neighborhood's uh, pest control. Mm, oh, you're I've doing, the, what's the guy's name across the street? Well, I don't know. We're not doing them. Well, you're doing all the guy's pest control. So you right. actually have a conversation with them. Yeah, and I have my gun behind the door because you never know what's going on. <laughs> like I open the door, I have one hand behind the door with a gun because I live in Atlanta, people. And I'm always suspect about their credentials. Oh, like, they're are, they, are they legit? You know. And just next time you go, okay, what's the name? I'm going to call the company right now and ask. I don't even answer oh, the door. I just don't even go there. I tell Heather not to answer the door. Do do it in ring, but don't. Yeah, do yeah. not open the door. Guys, I want you to listen to this video that this TikToker posted about this persistent door-to-door salesperson that came to her door. She's got the Ring app, and this guy just won't leave. He looks normal. He's chilling out. Hello. Hello. Howdy. Hey, sorry, sorry to make Hi. you come to the door. I'll be real quick. Don't worry. Well, uh, I would come to the door, but we have COVID. My well, my husband has COVID right now, so I don't want to expose you to that. Oh, I'm vaccinated, and I'm really not that worried about it, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Well, what what do we got here? What are we selling? Drugs. I got it all. Comethazine, Perkies, Adderalls. What do you guys need? What? Um, I'm going to pass on that today. <laughs> Don't worry, play. I'm joking. Um, <laughs> I'm doing the mosquitoes <laughs> and spiders out in the yard around the house. And I'm getting everyone okay. done. It's super cheap. Okay. Do you have a business card you can leave? I'm not the flyer boy, but I promise you it'll take me three minutes or less. I'll even give you six feet. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna let you go now. This what a D bag. Okay. Now, have a good one. What I mean? What about what his D-bag. joking at the beginning where he's like, "I'm selling drugs," like he's trying yeah. to do a bit. He was dancing. He looked like he was on drugs. Yeah. But if you're that company, he does have some go get him. If you could just rein in some of the uncomfortable. I mean, he he doesn't give up, and that's what you need in a salesperson. But that dude would just aggravate me. It would have been great if the woman said, actually, I do need some Adderall. Yeah. She was actually too <laughs> nice. She should yeah, have just, she, she should have shut him down after the first joke. But, you know, are, isn't it illegal in a lot of neighborhoods even to, to go door to door selling? The people I mean, are that, still doing it, though. It's not illegal. It's not? I, mean, it's illegal. I think in our neighborhood, it's not legal. At least I've been told that. I mean, I guess your neighborhood could put a, what, a no soliciting sign if you enter a neighborhood through a certain area maybe think about it these know. days people that come on your property i mean and the, this guy had to go way into this lady's front yard then up her steps and then to her front door it's just uncomfortable especially when they won't leave now what about yeah. neighborhood kids though that are selling something for school like you know chocolates or they're trying to get you to buy something so they can get points well, do you, you ever you have any tell. of those yeah i'll buy all of those yeah well you know what i do though i i sometimes the kid is clearly 25 and he's selling <laughs> high school okay that <laughs> he's selling you know chocolate bars for his high school i always ask for a library card or i say do you have any kind of um school id on you oh good idea and if they show me i'm like all right i'll buy some but if they can't show me any school id i'm like suspect that's a hustle in atlanta too they come up with the chocolate bars and they come out of from between cars mm-hmm. in parking lots right and i'm like bro uh-uh i mean yeah i carry you sneak up on me like that and, and they try to sell you a chocolate bar or candy at the in the grocery store parking lot, and you have a whole buttload of groceries. If I wanted candy, I would have gotten it in there. I'm not buying it from you. Yeah, if, if I'm in the mood, I'll do a fake call. Like I'll I'll act like I'm calling. I'm, I'm calling. That's, hang right here, bro. I'm gonna call the police. Let's talk to him <laughs> about right, your permit. Right. Hold, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Well, how about Yo, the fact she she said her husband had COVID, and he's like, "Well, I've been vaccinated. I don't care about that." Yeah, that was uncomfortable. S- yeah, super well, uncomfortable. Good question for social. Do you do you open the door if these people come to the door, even if in your eyes they look safe? Uh, sadly, I've done it. 
I mean, but I, I don't open it fully. I kind of just kind of crack it and then I'll like, uh, but dude, that's my, when they want to my, my arm against yeah, the wall. Or do you even engage? Like she actually like engaged with this person. I wouldn't have even opened the door. I would open it for Leslie, but not Thank Barnes. You. If exactly. I saw you on the front porch, <laughs> leave in the comments. Do you open the door when these people come? Be curious to know. <laughs>